Now go ahead and run through your chapter on k-means clustering and solve for the silhouette, learn about what that is, and also do the cosine distance. I just wanted to make a quick video comparing Euclidean distance to cosine distance because I think the text uh, can be just a little bit confusing. So what's going on here? If you look here, I've made a spreadsheet where we can actually look at the difference between Euclidean distance and cosine distance uh, as we change the numbers uh, for the centroids. And here I've got columns for four clusters. Now, what happens if I put some ones here? If I put some ones here, you'll see that the distance between Adam's column and the centroid for cluster one gets smaller. And that's because I'm putting the ones in the exact same places where Adam has where Adams has ones. So let's see, if I put a one here and I make it identical, hopefully their, dis their distance should be zero in both cases because they're located exactly the same place. And see this number here is so close to zero that it uh, doesn't even matter. We can just consider that zero. Now what happens if I put a one over uh, the centroid for cluster one? Look and see what happens the Euclidean distance went up to 1. It increased dramatically, but the cosine distance didn't increase very much. Let's see if we put another 1. Again, Euclidean distance increases pretty dramatically. Cosine distance doesn't increase very much at all. Let's look at the uh, cluster 2 centroid and start putting in numbers there. If I put in a number here, and a number here, and a number here, and a number here. Notice that these are deals, these are offers that Adams did not take. And so uh, they are things that Adams did not take, and they don't really matter much. So cosine distance isn't weighting them at all. The distance between Adams location, Adam, the location of Adams purchase vector and the centroid for cluster 2 here is actually staying constant at 1 while Euclidean distance it's getting farther and farther away and why is this important? Um, why does this matter? I think what you should just think about is we really want to use cosine distance in this case and not Euclidean distance because the what matters here, what makes things similar, right? We're trying to see how far apart 2 points in space are. And when we think about it on a common sense le level, well, what might make two customers, say Adams and Allen, similar to each other? It's not that they didn't buy two things, right? If I say, oh, guess what? I haven't bought a Ferrari. And you say, oh, well, you know what? That's very interesting. We have something in common. I also have not bought a Ferrari. Well, that's not, that's kind of silly, right? But if, if someone said, oh, I bought a Ferrari, and you met somebody else who bought a Ferrari, that makes you more similar. It's the matches. The matches are more important than the mismatches, and cosine distance captures that. And when you're running a k-means clustering algorithm, all of the steps that we did before, all of them are exactly the same. The only difference is this computation of the distance metric that's the only thing that's going to change between the two algorithms. So I wanted to explain that uh, briefly, and I will show you how we do k-means clustering or k-medians clustering when you're using cosine distance in R, and then, when, then we will uh, talk about some more methods that people use in segmentation studies. And one last thing, super briefly, I just wanted to mention it is appropriate to use Euclidean distance in certain circumstances. For example, we're doing a cluster analysis using transactional data. We've got a bunch of zeros and ones, you know, binary data. Did they buy this thing or did they not buy this thing? But whenever you have other types of data, say you did a survey on a bunch of your customers and they answered questions on, you know, scales that have continuous values. So, for example, their age, it isn't a yes or no response, it's a number, right? You have an age that you are a number of years, or your income, 
um, you know, you make zero dollars to, you know, gazillions of dollars, that's not a yes or no answer. So in those cases, that's when it would be more appropriate to use Euclidean distance. Cosine distance, more appropriate when you have transactional zero and one type data.